The artistic and music director of the Children's Orchestra Society spent the summer hopeful. He was looking forward to the return of his students after months on Zoom. But days before their first in-person orientation, disaster struck. Deadly flooding cripples the tri-state. More than 20 lives have been lost. Entire neighborhoods underwater. On September 1st, the remnants of Hurricane Ida barreled into the tri-state, unleashing flash floods. Streets turned into rivers. Water rushed into homes. It started very innocently. Uh, I was watching television upstairs. And uh, the rain came down, and there was a flash flood warning. Within minutes of that first warning, Michael Dadup's street looked like a lake. This was video he took that night. As the water rose, Dadup, the longtime music director of the New York-based Children's Orchestra Society, could only watch as his family's life's work washed away. And the following morning, um, we surveyed and everything was completely destroyed. One month later, Dadup and his wife, Yo Cheng Ma, are still cleaning up. There's still a giant tent outside their house filled with memorabilia they're hoping to save. But so much was lost. For the last 38 years, their queen's home was also the home office for the Children's Orchestra Society, also known as CAUSE. Dadup took us on a tour of their basement. It's hard to imagine that there was once a thriving music studio and office here. Materially speaking, we lost just about everything what I have in the, in the office. And two grand pianos and all the uh, musical pieces that were thousands of scores and everything. And the, the entire studio, electronic equipments. The material loss, they estimate, is in the hundreds of thousands. But many of the items gone, you can't put a price on. Precious instruments, like a childhood cello the thousands of compositions lost, and almost 40 years of memories. Our school, our livelihood, our uh, passion of uh, uh, bringing music and teaching music to young people was all washed out. Cause has a long and rich history. It was founded in 1962 by Yo Cheng Ma's father, Dr. H.T. Ma. Yo Cheng was a music prodigy growing up along with her very famous brother, the cellist Yo-Yo Ma. In fact, the siblings made their American debut in front of an audience that included President John F. Kennedy. Congratulations to you both. Yo Chang, who is also a pediatrician, took over as executive director in 1984. Her husband, Michael Dadup, a well-known guitarist, composer, and conductor from the Philippines, became music director. The couple continued her father's mission. He really wanted children to play together and to improve themselves. During our interview, another storm rolled in, so we had to take cover under the tent, the rain almost sounding like a timpani as they spoke about their former students coming back to help. We are yeah, a we family, are. and we never realized it so much as right now all the alum who came physically to help us yes. all the alum who came from out of the woodwork we haven't heard from them for years but they donated money to help us and it just it touches us to the bottom of our heart some 5,000 children have been a part of cause learning and embracing classical music and performing on some of the biggest stages with some of the genre's most famous stars but the kids haven't performed on a stage for almost two years because of COVID. Instead, they've been taking lessons and performing on Zoom. There's still a lot of work ahead, and it may seem daunting at times, but the couple remain optimistic. As the saying goes, the show must go on. I'm, I'm very hopeful and I always think about the children, the faces of the children, that, that aha moment when they learn, that gives me a lot of hope that we must, we must surrender to this destruction, but rather we should get stronger and rebuild better so that we can serve more children in the future. I'm Ernabel DeMillo for Asian American Life.